Welcome back, Blade fans, to yet another collection video. Told you I'd do it, and I'm doing it. <clears throat> it uh, this one might be something up your alley or not. Uh, a while back, I did uh, the best budget best techs. So I figured I owed Best Tech a higher-end review. These are the ones that I happen to have that are in the, we're going to say 100 and up, <clears throat> roughly. I had hoped to do what um, commonly is called mid-tech. The, the term mid-tech is bandied about and uh, may be used in a few different contexts, but um, these may or may not qualify as mid-techs, but some have seen some hand work after the uh, initial production factory uh, creation, so uh, I'll mention that where I feel it applies. Okay, so we've got five blades here. They're all exquisite examples of uh, best tech's workmanship, uh, Best Tech, as you know, uh, makes a, a full range of knives from like uh, 45 bucks and up. Uh, they're all solid contenders. These, again, are on the fancier side. So we're going to start with one that's pretty fancy looking. This is the Ascot. And although the Ascot comes in at around 110, I believe... Uh, it is just, uh, it, it really looks and feels like a knife that's like uh, 250 300 bucks. It's 14C28N. It is a um, kind of a trailing point, um, I don't know, what would you call it, uh, straight back uh, utility type blade with... A really nice belly and a hell of an edge. Really nice satin finish uh, on the blade. And <clears throat> you have a very interesting and compelling combination of burl wood and carbon fiber. And you don't often see that. You know, you'll see G10 with carbon fiber. Maybe you'll see some other types. Uh, maybe you'll see... Uh, uh, solid aluminum with carbon fiber, uh, but this is just a beautiful knife, and I've shown it before. There are reviews on each of these blades individually, so should you need to have the specs and whatnot, please go out there, take a look. I will tell you that this is a larger knife, coming up on like three and three quarters. Uh... Beautiful standoff brass, pivot surround, uh, really nice carbon fiber, wide open construction with a couple pillars out at the back, barrel spacers, whatever you like to call them, uh, exquisite, exquisite, I meant to say exquisite, drop shot action, just a fantastic action, pretty much out of the box on this one. Um, you can use this all day long for utility purposes, EDC, what have you. Has a um, titanium clip and is a hidden liner. Nicely done. Nice relief. Just all the way around. You could call that a gentleman's knife. You could call it a working knife. You got file like effective jimping on the back of the blade. Just a sweet, sweet combination of um, working knife and a fancy showpiece for 110 bucks. Next up, let's just uh, go from the top down. The Shodan. A creation a design that is design creation by Todd Knife and Tool Company. There's their logo on the pivot. This is designed as a tactical knife. Tactical slash EDC. Comes in about four different flavors. This one is natural titanium on one side. And carbon fiber. Solid carbon fiber on the other side. The use on 
their designs, Todd Knife and Tool, that is, of that pronounced forward choil. It's probably one of the most usable blade choils going on production knives. Uh, they did not elect to use a sharpening choil. So for those of you that like a sharpening choil, you're going to complain. But I find that uh, although I haven't sharpened this yet, no need to, uh, you can start right there and you should be able to, without dinging that uh, choil area, you should be able to get a good edge on that. Lots going on in this one. It is a flipper. And it is a uh, thumb opener. Pretty good detent on it. So you gotta, can't exactly... It's difficult to roll out, let's say. Uh, you've got a fuller there, which can easily, unless you're me, be used with a middle finger flick. Solid knife. At least a four millimeter blade stock on that. Again, I've got the specs out on the individual reviews. Although it looks a little weird in space age, and it's got a little bit of that Strider-esque uh, handle going on, it's different in many ways from a Strider knife, as far as I know. And um, I think I've only had some Striders that are basically production copies. Choke up ability, just amazing. Spear point, single edge. Um, look at that blade profile. Effective, very effective jimping up here. So many ways you can hold this. And uh, naturally works well with a thumb platform there and the point down. So whether you're looking for a tactical blade, and by the way, you can get this in all titanium blackened out or all titanium natural, I believe. Uh, I happen to like carbon fiber, which is why I got this model. So there you go. That is the Shodan. Uh, these are coming in around two and a half or so. And um, I'm assuming they're still being made. Some of these knives uh, purchases go back a year, year and a half. So one more by Todd Knife and Tool, the malware, extremely light, maybe in like the three and a half ounce category, I believe. Carbon fiber, black and titanium, brass anodized titanium clip. This is uh, certainly, if you look at it, um, what many reviewers call stabby pokey. Oh yeah. I mean, that's a point that just doesn't stop. And yet, you've got your utility choke up. You've got your effective jimping. It is a long knife with a three and three quarter ish blade. Every time I mention a measurement, I'm compelled to, uh, yeah. It's like um, three and seven eighths. I'm compelled to pull out the tape measure. Prove my point. Notice these three holes. That's sort of a trademark with Todd Knife and Tool. And you'll see it there. And they're actually polished on the uh, showdown on the other side. Lots of detail work. So that gets done by hand. So when we're talking mid-tech, there is a fair amount of work being done on these by hand after the initial production. They all run smooth on bearings. This um, malware is especially a good, if I can get a little energy going there, is a good middle finger flicking knife. So if you like your long, slender, pointy knives, I think this is for you. Just um, doesn't matter the position. Scary just looking at this one. <laughs> 
but I love it. Doesn't see a lot of carry, probably should see some more. We're down to our last two. And let me see if I can focus in just a little bit on these. And concentrate on showing those and not some of the others. These two are designed by Kombu. Gregor Grabars Grabars Grabarski, and excuse my uh, butchering his Polish name. Uh, Gregor was recently reviewed by Bob DeMarco, the knife junkie, uh, in a very long and uh, in-depth interview about how he designs knife and their organic designs and his art background and uh, lots to learn about that very prolific designer for best tech he has done a lot of stuff uh, i can't afford all of his stuff uh, some of it's up around the 300 hundred dollar mark so i do have these two first one i got ever by combo design is the irida and i believe that is the name of a flower believe it or not but it's seldom you see a blade like this that looks like a leaf certainly there's the filipino barong which is a sword but here and this comes in a lot of different handle flavors by the way look at the 3d milling and the layering of red g10 with black carbon fiber and that's not an overlay this is actually layered layers of carbon fiber and red G10 or burgundy G10 whatever and yet uh, as was um, demonstrated in the interview that uh, Bob DeMarco did these look strange sometimes but the ergos will fool you this is a very comfortable knife even with all that mill work, that 3D milling on the sides of the, the uh, handle. Action is smooth on bearings. Um, you can middle finger flick it. A little difficult, but the detent's not so strong that you can't do it. We've got a fuller that incorporates the slot. Effective jimping in that pocket, that ramp for your thumb. And just excellent feel for the rest of your fingers. This also is a fairly large blade with a three and three quarter inch blade. So that's the Irida been out for a while now I believe they're still available um, beautiful satin finishing on this one as well so let's take a look at the very last higher-end best tech fairly recently out within maybe the last six months this is the Samari and this is not a cheap knife. It's about two and a half, maybe a little more, depending on the flavor you get it in. This is a bronzed titanium design, almost like a fish bone. Looks like a fish there if you look at the, uh, the lanyard hole eye. Is that a lanyard hole? Nope, there's a screw in there. So that's a, but that screw hole or that screw really does make it look like a fish fishbone uh, he says it's a very ancient design hearkening back to maybe uh, Mesopotamian times I'm not sure but uh, talking about after production handwork these longitudinal um, hand rubbed marks are done by hand so I'm told 
Here's Kombu's mark. Uh, blade steel on this is M390, I believe. If I can locate that, might be on the flipper tab. There it is. It is on the flipper tab. So M390 on that. Uh, by the way, the Shodan S35VN and the Irida uh, 14C28. Just so you know. A light knife. And I don't know if you want to call that a Tonto. It's a Tonto with an extremely long point. But look what he did here with this secondary grind. It is hollow, I believe. Let's see. I'm going to call this a hollow grind. I'm pretty sure it's a broad hollow grind that's being done here. Extremely sharp. Pretty good thickness with a fine point, I have to say. I mean, there's plenty of meat there, certainly thinner points. Whether you'd uh, EDC this and uh, put it through some rough use, I'm not sure. I'd say it's more meant to be kind of an art piece. Look at that interesting pattern on the uh, backspacer. As I said, all titanium handle, M390 blade, uh, definitely upper class in terms of uh, production knives. And that beautiful, beautiful satin finish following the line of the blade. So that is the Samari <coughs> by Bestec, designed by Kombu. The Irida, designed by Kombu. The Shodan, designed by Todd Knife and Tool. The Malware, by Todd Knife and Tool. And in-house design, as far as I know, the Ascot. Very fancy for its price point. Well, hope you enjoyed this review, guys. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. This Old Sword, signing out.